Calibration improves the accuracy of the measuring device resulting in better product quality with reliable and accurate output data. The goal of calibration is to minimize any measurement uncertainty by ensuring the accuracy of test equipment. Calibration quantifies and controls errors or uncertainties within measurement processes to an acceptable level. These measurement devices need to be standardized to give correct data and enable us to make proper water policy decisions. The current meters are used widely in our country to measure discharge which in turn manages the water distribution system efficiently. The calibrated current meters are used at gauging site for measuring discharge. After the use of such devices over the time, its accuracy is badly affected due to wear and tear, electric or mechanical shocks or the hazardous manufacturing environment, for example, oils, metal chips, etc. So, it is mandatory to carry out repair and maintenance of such current meters and then calibrate them. The current meter is a device used to measure water velocity in open channel. This information is a core part of water allocation and management and is also used for variety of engineering and scientific purpose. There are two types of current meters used in hydrometry and oceanography, mainly the rotating and non-rotating type instruments. The rotating element type current meters includes cup, propeller, pygmy cup, pygmy propeller are used more than 100 years throughout the world and the non-rotating or stationary type current meters are electromagnetic which works on Faraday's law. They are self-recording used in oceanography, acoustic Doppler current profiler ADCP, non-contact type radar sensor which works on Doppler shift effect. The calibration of rotating current meters in straight open rating tank is an internationally accepted practice. A new current meter is required to calibrate so as to establish relationship between its rotational speed and the velocity of flow. Even for old current meters, periodical calibration is necessary to account for possible wear and tear of its certain parts. As per ISO 3455, IS 13371, it is mandatory to recalibrate the current meters at yearly or after 300 hours of use, whichever is earlier. The calibration of water current meter is essential for custody transfer of water, interstate, national sharing of water, drinking water distribution systems and water management, etc. The current meter calibration CMC division at CWPRS undertakes this national importance work. The rating tank facility was established in 1955 for testing of ship models as well as calibration of current meters. The facility was inaugurated by late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on 4th June 1955. The tank is 228 meters long, 3.66 meters wide 
and 2.13 meters deep. It is constructed in RCC below floor level in a covered building 248.7 meter long, 7.6 meters wide and 5 meters high. The facility is upgraded with new state-of-the-art technology under hydrology project in May 2003. The rating trolley is electrically driven rating trolley. Its speed range is 0.01 .01 meters per second to 6.0 meters per second. And it has AC servo motors and drives with programmable logic circuit PLC for precise speed control. It uses a specially developed software for PC-based data acquisition and processing system. The data transfer and the printing of calibration charts from the supervisory control and data acquisition SCADA PC to the remotely placed PC through various wireless technology using Profinet Ethernet. CMRT has the capacity to evaluate the drag force and hull resistance on water bodies used in design of the hydrojets for propulsion in water. Its calibration of conventional rotating element type current meters IS13371, ISO3455 and sophisticated stationary element type self-recording electromagnetic acoustic Doppler current profile ADCP Contact Free Discharge Radar Each part of the current meter namely top and bottom pivot read switch, assembly of signal mechanism, spindle, rotating part assembly and signal contact assembly are dismantled. And cleaned properly. Any faulty or broken parts are replaced and tend and bend are removed and reassembled. All the mechanical parts are reassembled along with the signal mechanism and lubricated properly. Place the current meter in normal operating condition and check whether the rotor freely moving without any wobbling and without any play so that smooth and free motion of rotor is ensured. Now, the current meter is ready for spin test. Spin the rotor by hand force and observe its motion carefully and measure its stopping time. It is mentioned here that the stopping should be gradual, not abrupt. If the stop is abrupt, the cause shall be detected and corrected before its calibration. Normally, the current meter is attached by rigid rod suspension at the rear side of the rating trolley. At a time, five numbers of current meters may be installed for the calibration. Care is taken to place the current meter at a depth below the surface of tank water where the surface influence is negligible. For the propeller type current meter, the immersion depth water level to rotary axis should be at least twice the diameter of the propeller rotor. The cup type meter is immersed to a depth of at least 0.3 meters or 
one and a half time the height of the rotor, whichever is greater. From the SCADA system, the input data of different trolley speed and simultaneously number of rotation is given to the programmable logic control, PLC. The operator on the trolley has to press start button, the threshold velocity, also called as minimum speed of response threshold velocity of a rotating element current meter is determined during calibration by gradually increasing the trolley velocity from zero until the rotating elements revolves at a constant angular velocity. For most of the current meters, it is found to be in the range of 0.05 meter per second to 0.11 meter per second at the trolley is gradually run as per the velocity range profile given to PLC. Calibration is carried out in the range of 0.10 meter per second to 6.0 meters per second with specified velocity intervals. During the calibration tests, 12 to 16 sets of values of trolley velocity V and corresponding rate of revolution of current meter R are acquired in the specified speed range. During the steady speed of the trolley, if the PLC did not acquire any signal from the current meters indicating fault in a particular current meter, then the detected fault is rectified and calibration is continued. It is ensured that the water in the tank remains relatively still before each test run. After the calibration procedure is over, the current meter performance can be seen through graphically. The result of calibration is expressed in form of one or more equations of the straight lines as a best fit for the calibration curve with the velocity v as the ordinate and the rate of rotation of the rotor r as the abscissa. The calibration equations are obtained using suitable computer program by adopting least square estimation. Ready Reckoner calibration tables are prepared on computer using the experimental values of V and R. This table or chart is helpful in the estimation of velocity at gauging sites. In the case of direct reading current meter, the velocity is directly indicated on the counter. Such current meter is attached to rear side of trolley by rigid rod suspension. The speed of rating trolley is gradually increased manually. When the steady speed of trolley is achieved, the reading of velocity indicated by the display unit is observed. The speed of rating trolley and corresponding velocity indicated by sensor is observed. The calibration is presented in the tabular format giving trolley velocity, corresponding velocity indicated by meter and the percentage deviation. Due care has to be taken after calibration. The current meter is again cleaned, dried and thoroughly lubricated. Then it should be properly packed and stored at a neat and clean place. Damage to the current meters normally occurs because of improper packing and careless handling in transportation. 
CWPRS extends its calibration services to the agencies like the Central Water Commission, CWC, from all over India, the State Government Water Resources Department, the Railways Department, the academic institutes and other manufacturers.